Exalted Entertainment Radio, this is Kiara Dean. You just tuned in to another edition of The Love Factor. Today is Saturday, December the 6th. And unfortunately, I woke up to another sad story of police brutality taking place over in Las Vegas, if I recall right. But today we are discussing what's going on. What's going on in the community? What is up with all these police officers taking on all of these unnecessary issues as far as committing crimes, but they're supposed to be the law. So again, as I said, you've just tuned into the Love Factor radio show where it's all about relationships, and we have people losing their loved ones left and right. And unfortunately, it is starting to become the common. It's starting to look more like an epidemic. If you want to get in on a conversation, I would love to hear your thoughts regarding this whole situation. You can call in at 567-704-8239. Once again, that's 567-704-8239. And press 1234, and you can easily get in on the conversation as we discuss what's going on here in society because it is becoming out of control. It is bec- it is causing more of our loved ones to be outraged. And so... Also, you could join me on the Spreaker app. That is www.spreaker.com. And all you would need to do is search for the Love Factor Radio Show. If you're uh, trying to be a part of the conversation, I would love to hear from you. And all you would need to do is join in on the chat room. You will see the little chat icon right there in the bottom of the console or your your uh, web screen, and that's how we are able to communicate. So, again, there's two ways for us to communicate, and that is by calling in to 567-704-8239, and you press 1234 just to get in. That's 567-704-8239, and you can press 1234-POUND. And that's how you get in on this conversation. Again, we're discussing what's going on. I'm Kiera D. And I am getting frustrated with society. I'm getting frustrated with the law. I'm getting upset because justice is no longer being served. And unfortunately, it seems as if our voice is not being heard. I know last week we discussed a little bit about the Michael Brown case and how Officer Darren Wilson got off the hook. No indictment. We had... The president of the local chapter of Indianapolis, NAACP, here. And that's what we discussed last week. But this week, I want to hear from you. I want to hear what are you going to do, how is it affecting you, and what do you think we can do as a whole to come together collectively to make sure this does not go on. We cannot continue to allow this to be a part of our uh, everyday lives because now it's, it's starting to be come more normal. As I said, I woke up to this, the unfortunate news this morning again that somewhere else, another officer has committed murder. How is it that they're the law enforcement, but yet they're not enforcing the law? They're getting way, they're getting way away with it. It took place, I saw the article titled, From the Shade Room, LAPD, shot a man in the head, and witnesses claim that the unarmed man was, that the man was unarmed and innocent. A number of people sent emails and DMs from, um, that witnessed the situation. Police reported that the man was armed, but this is from ABC News, Hollywood, Los Angeles. Police shot a suspect at the corner of Hollywood and Highland on Friday. So this is just last night. The suspect suffered critical injuries and has been taken to the hospital. Now, as some of you might not know, earlier this week, we had Officer uh, get off the hook again with police brutality because... They allowed the officer who killed Eric Garner off the hook. 
again, it was another situation, and they that he reported that. Well, you can hear the audio, but he is saying that his hands were up. He said, "Don't shoot," and his hands were up. And then they put him in the chokehold. And so, unfortunately, that move has been banned from that police force. So why is it that an officer was still able to get away with putting a a suspect in the chokehold? And then he gets off the hook. Are you serious? He's not going to be charged with anything? Are you serious? Where is the justice? What is going on? I'm going to read to you what I posted here recently concerning everything that's going on. Because, like I said, it has got out of control. And I normally don't uh, express my thoughts publicly on social media because, you know, I just, i rather not deal with all the controversial. But, as I said, this is getting to be out of control. I put, I'm outraged with the so-called justice system. Recently, they have failed us in more ways than one. People have cried, protested, marched, and looted. Yet they continue to turn a deaf ear to society. They say it's against the law to commit murder. Yet the law has been getting away with murder almost every day now. Whatever happened to their motto to serve and protect? Who are they protecting? Lately, it seems as if they are committing more of the crimes than the criminals themselves. It's apparent that we are dealing with modern-day slavery. It's apparent that we are not created equal in their eyes. It's apparent that it's their plan of genocide. But echoing the words of Maya Angelou, still we rise as entrepreneurs and educated individuals. Still we rise as professors teachers and caregivers still we rise as white collared professionals and CEOs and intellectual individuals raising up a new generation of masterminds yes I know we're misrepresented in the media but needless to say there are a great deal of minorities making an impact in society daily however I say to the justice system this too shall pass we shall overcome again you get in on a conversation Simply by clicking on the chat icon, and I can see what you have to say in the chat room, and we can communicate like that. Also, again, you have the opportunity to call in on our on our hotline, 567-704-8239, and then you will press one, two, three, four pound, and that will put you in the holding queue so that you go live on air with your comments. So, again, I want to know what's your thoughts, what's your views on everything that's been going on here in society because it's getting ludicrous, it's getting outrageous, where it's popping up almost every day now that someone is able to get away with murder in the law enforcement. How is that so? How is that okay? Why is the jury system still able to allow people off the hook like that i personally think that they need to start making the jury system the jurors a little bit more diverse if that means they got to do some more profiling or whatever i think that would kind of help people to have a more diverse jury because if it's really hidden racism whereas they're not being open about their racism, then they're going to be able to continue to get away with this. But right now, what I want to do, I want to play the audio for you all, in case you have not heard it. I want to play the audio of Eric Garner when he got killed by the police officer. So... If you all could just listen in with me, I'm going to go ahead and share this information with you. (laughs) Looks like we're having a little bit of trouble of getting it up. However, I did want to share another piece that I had wrote years ago. This is something I wrote a while back when I was in college, and I just want to share with you. Uh, It's called Justification. 
How do you define justification when we live in a nation where there's law enforcement and politics who still believe in segregation? See, my brothers and sisters, we trying hard just to make it with all of these obstacles in our way. We can't make it to the top as easy as it seems. Yeah, we're all out here chasing the American dream, but right now, you see, it's just a fantasy. Oh, no, I'm not trying to lower your self-esteem. I mean, I'm just saying... I can't wait till the day we're no longer considered minorities. We'll dominate, and everyone will honor Dr. MLK as we all find our way to love each other with no hate. I'm pretty sure you remember what happened to Mr. JFK. On that tragic day, the man who was trying to make it easier for blacks to survive, and yet to this day, they don't know who took his life. With a shot to the head on the scene pronounced dead. Can you imagine what the newspapers, headlines read? With so many people watching and crying, yet can't anyone say which way the bullet came flying? Someone's got to be lying, denying either that or the court's not trying. If that's not the case, then tell me why. United we stand, divided we fall. That's a lie because there's not justice for all. Even Bush broke the law, and instead of seeing a jail cell, he gets to see the inside of the White House walls. Yes, he's the reason for this war being fought and the cause for all of our loved ones being lost overseas. You can believe that justification is a fallacy, leaving us all to see because it's perceived that we're home of the brave and land of the free. Yet, the industry doesn't want to reveal the cure for a disease because money is the key. They'd rather see us all die than to live healthy lives. I'm telling you, our justice is deprived because behind the scenes, everyone's got something to hide. On the back of money, it says, we trust in God. But I can't publicly speak of him aloud. But you know what? I refuse to let the government take my pride. I will survive. I'll, su I'll strive to keep hope alive and put up a fight for all my earned rights. Why won't they let our freedom shine to keep our spirits high? If you ask me, I'll say it's because we live in a nation that's unjustified. Again, that piece is called justification. And like I said, that is something I wrote back years ago when I was in college. And I feel like it's relevant for today as far as what's going on with the community and everything that's been happening in our society lately. So, um, again, if you want to get in on the conversation, you could click the little chat icon. And I will be happy to take your comments over the air. I just want to know what your views are regarding everything that's been going on here lately because it's got to stop. You know, we have people protesting left and right. We have people looting. We have riots going on. And, and you mean to tell me they're still not hearing us? What does it take? What does it take for our voices to be heard? Taking your calls again, 567 704 Eight two three nine, and then all you have to do is press one two three four again, five six seven seven zero four eighty two thirty nine, and all you will have to do is press one two three four. I'm going to play a live audio for you all from CNN regarding Eric Garner. Okay, give me just a moment as we get this audio prepared, and I'm going to share it with you here momentarily, okay? Just bear with us for a moment.
again, that footage was from CNN, and it was regarding the Eric Garner situation where he's literally screaming for trying to get catch a breath. They were putting him in the chokehold, pinning him down to the ground, and he's yelling, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. But you mean to tell me that the justice system, the jurors, they can't use that as solid evidence that it was an intentional murder? What is going on? I have a comment here that says, I saw something on Facebook saying something along the lines of, if you don't like the justice system, become the justice system. Meaning that we can train our kids to become more than victims. They can come become lawyers, cops, judges, and government officials. Yes, that would take years on top of years, but we've been struggling for that same amount of time, so it's definitely worth it. I love that comment. I have another comment that said, uh, we have to change the whole system, especially when it comes to juries. It's a setup and not meant to benefit blacks, period. Another person says, other than economic empowerment and development, we are going to have to start fighting fire with fire. What they do to us, we have to do to them. Send a message. Teach our people we are not walking targets anymore. Turning the other cheek is dead. I'm not sure what that individual meant by that, but I, I must agree that turning the up other cheek is it, it's apparently not working. We do not have officers respecting our values, respecting our people. Um, I have another individual who, I'm going to play this last piece of audio for you all, but it's another individual who recently encountered a situation with the officers um, and he posted it on his Facebook page. He was really upset because he got stopped for walking with his hands in his pocket. And they just said he looked suspicious. What kind of peanut butter, no jelly mess is that? <laughs> but again, as I said, we have got to make a change. Unfortunately, I, wouldn't, uh, I don't agree with, with looting. I honestly believe we can do things peacefully, as Martin Luther King used to do. I honestly believe we can reach people peacefully, because when we loot, we're just making ourselves look bad all over again. We do not need to do that in order to get attention. I think the protests, the rallies, and the riots, that might be more than enough to get their attention, but definitely, and I'm not even for the riots, but the protests more so. We have protests taking place all across the country. In, in the malls, we have them in the streets. Um, someone posted a video recently that I'm aware of. Um, it was right outside of her college dorm. And they were protesting in Chicago. Um, so, again, I'm about to play this audio for you all. And this is from the actual person who had this encounter with police officers. Okay, um, we might not be able to play it after all. <laughs> Bear with me. Okay. Okay, well, yeah, it doesn't look like I'll be able to pull up the footage for you all. But, again, like I said, he got approached by a police officer because he was a black guy walking down the street with his hands in his pocket. It's like nowadays, anybody's prey. Everybody's a suspect. Nobody's safe. I even fear for my own loved ones from time to time just because they're black males. And it seems like those are the ones that's becoming the target, black males. And so, again, like I said, we've got to do something. We've got to make a change. If that means you got to continue to post things, send off letters to the White House, there's petitions going, going, get involved with rallies or protests. We've got to do something. And to all my brothers or anybody that's a minority, I just want to encourage you, whenever you encounter that officer, whenever you're dealing with the law, just comply. For the most part, if you just comply, I guarantee you, for the most part, <laughs> if you just comply, you're more than likely to get off the hook. Because, you know, we have people talking about getting 
the police force body cameras. But here we have solid footage going around from eyewitnesses, and that's not even helping. So I'm not sure if the body ca- cameras would even help. But what I'm saying is don't add fuel to their fire. Don't get smart with them. Don't continue to talk down to them because you're just provoking them when you respond in that manner. Respond in love. Unfortunately, this is a cold world that we are living in, but this is our society and we have to make a change. I'm Kiera D. Thank you again for tuning in to The Love Factor. Hope you all will join me again next week. Same time, same place. And until next time, you all be blessed. Have a good week. Oh, yes,